Welcome back to the channel folks, it's another Kalimoto tutorial and this one you've asked me loads about it, how to import and export with Kalimoto. Down in the so importing and exporting files with Kalimoto, can it be done? Yes and it is very very easy. Simplest way by far is to do it via the web version, but it can be done with your phone, with iOS and Android. You cannot export with your phone if you have iOS, but they are working on that and I'll talk you through it all now. So we'll start with the desktop version first, so head to kalimoto.com, sign in. Then if you look up in the top right here, just under where it says uh, trip planner next to settings, there's the import or export GPX. For importing, just tap import, it'll open up a, a file dialog box. Find your GPX file, which you want to import, hit upload, boom, there you go, there is your route. Then all you need to do here is you can either save it, so I'll just put on one for this, this is just a little route down in Corsica, hit save. Now that is automatically saved to my phone via the Kalimoto app, so I can just open up on my phone and off we go. Now there is a slight caveat here, say you import a file, so I'll go to one of my, my Pyrenees trips which I originally did on Garmin Basecamp. Now if I was to upload this into Kalimoto, you'll see where the issues lie. So what you see here is you get an error message pops up, unfortunately your ride couldn't be converted, a common problem is that a part of the way is not on a paved road, for example on an off-road path through the forest. Now Kalimoto is designed to be purely for road use, not off-road. It sometimes tolerates a little bit of gravel road here and there, but it certainly won't do big chunks of a route. The open source mapping which Kalimoto use, it is not recognising some of the sort of goat track paths that I've used in the Pyrenees tour, therefore it is not loading it up here. That can be an issue. The other thing you might get is this. Sometimes you might get a little discrepancy here between the original GPX file and the route that Kalimoto is generating. Now you'll see the, the route Kalimoto generates is always in red there. The original file will be given in green. Now this is for a few reasons, sometimes it's because of the algorithm that Kalimoto used. Believe it or not, it tries not to send you down residential streets, I know in the early versions it would. It tries not to do that as best it can, plus the algorithm is always looking for the twistiest option, the sort of the optimum biking roads. So as you can see here, the original file took me straight down this little side street and back out this way. Kalimoto is trying to go this way to maximise A, the use of proper roads and not these side streets, but also you can see there that the algorithm is identifying that nice little S curve as a preferred biking route. So the route will take you around there. You can easily change that. All you need to do is just come up here, you can right click, create the waypoint, and there you go, it's popped me back down that original route. It's up to you. You can either stick with the Kalimoto recommended bit or go exactly as the original GPX file says. I can hit save on there, call it whatever I like, Pyrenees, hit save. And again, that's automatically saved to my phone. I can just open it up on the app and off we go. And what about exporting it? Well, again, very simple. Come to the desktop version here, find one of your roads. For example, here's one I just did in the Canaries recently. Come down to where it says export GPX, click that, find that file wherever it is that you've exported it to. So on a Mac it's here in downloads and boom, there is that file. I can then attach that to an email or whatever I want and send that on however I want to do it. Really is very, very simple on the desktop version. So mobile, via the app, someone sends you a GPX file, how do you get that into Kalimoto with your phone? Nice and easy. Just go to wherever the GPX file is, tap on it, it'll open it up in a bit of a gobbledygook bit of script on the iPhone, iOS, top right, like the share sort of icon. Here it gives me the option there, Kalimoto, tap that, and there you go, it's opened it up in the app. On iOS there it says convert, I'll tap that, it'll convert it into a, a route. 
boom, there we go. It's all numbered, it's got the waypoints. I can go into planner. I can move all of these around if I wanted to. I can change the twistiness of each individual section, just like you can with any route that you design within Kalimoto itself. Really is that easy, folks. I can even then share that to somebody else on Kalimoto. You hit the little sort of share icon there, top right here, scroll down, share in app you just type a username so for me i type teapot one hit send and that is it shared you'll see now although i am teapot one if i come into my rides here you'll see there's a, a sort of a new message indication there either hit the x to block it or i can hit the tick to accept it and there it is really is that easy now exporting from your mobile you cannot do that if you have iOS at the moment. That is something Kalimoto are working on, but it is available if you use Android. You click on the route that you want to export in the app, the sort of three little dots, tap that, and it gives you the option to export it as a GPX file. Now, if you're going to be sharing the route with other people who use Kalimoto, it is far better to share it within the app itself. They'll generally, there'll be no errors whatsoever. You won't get any of those little green lines to say that this is the original route, but this is the route Kalimoto suggests because it's Kalimoto to Kalimoto when you share within the app. But obviously you could be riding in a group. Not everyone might have Kalimoto on on their phones, therefore you might need to send it to someone who can then import it into their GPS device, something like that. You can just export it from your phone there and then if you want, and that person can then import it into their device, or alternatively, you can do it via your desktop, either or. Really is very, very straightforward and very easy, folks. I get lots of messages from people asking, so I hope this video has helped. All right, folks, if there's more things you'd like me to cover in Kalimoto, leave a little comment down below or contact me on social media. Don't forget to like and share this vid. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button and smash that bell. All right, folks, keep doing your thing. Keep looking after those that you love. Get on out there whenever you can and live your life. Woo-ha! Not recording, I think it was. Mm -hmm.